Blue in the dashboard wiring sequence is, is light, uh, so it'll be a spade connector uh, soldered onto the end of the wire with heat shrink and then to this, uh, and then actually daisy chained over to the next light, so all three of them will be in a series on the back of the panel. Action itself, and then I'm going to follow this cable to right here to the corner. I'm going to shoot up along this right here with zip ties so it's properly mounted up to the uh, panel. I put the, the extra uh, wraps of the coil there uh, for two purposes. It gives you enough wire in case you have to make a future repair on it. It gives you plenty of room to take it off. The second is that the coils, when they're wrapped like that, uh, they actually absorb some of the uh, vibrations from the engine so you're not putting any load on the mechanical fastener. Oh, I was just completely installed and then you wire your cinders to your panel. 
but we're wiring from the senders to the panel and then installing the panel. circles here, caulk so the screw holes don't have a leak, and then form the picture frame. That keeps the water from coming into the electronics. Water is a way to find its way into everything. And this is kind of like forming its own gasket. Let's see what the problem is. 